So we're here at the LZ Invitational, where, of course, as many people already know, it's Adam LZ's super huge event. I don't know if it's an annual thing, but my first year here, assuming that they do this every year, and they have a car show here in the Orlando Speed World Oval. So let's uh, walk through and see some cars. Um, but one thing that really caught my eye when we walked in here was this thing. What the absolute heck is this? It's on ESRs. First of all, it looks amazing. Look at this thing. You know, I thought it was one of those like old like Ford Tauruses or something. And then I look in the back and I see a familiar name as well. I did not know these existed. And a microflow exhaust system as well. I can't really know, I don't know too much about it. I would love to speak with the owner as soon as I can, but look at this piece of luxury. I don't know if this was Mazda's take on a luxury car here in the States, but the MX-6 is what it's called. And man, this thing looks good. This thing looks really good. With the kit and the wheel selection, everything just flows so well. Look at this. I wish I could go more into detail and see what goes on on the inside, but I wonder what kit this is or if this was just something he made himself. Nonetheless, this is probably one of my favorite things here just because of how weird it is. Like, I've never seen this before and when I, saw every, when I saw this thing rolling in, I was just so confused. Five speed manual too. If by any chance you don't see a feature on this, comment below who the owner is if you know. That looks so sick. Let me come back down the bank and we see this beautiful machine. Running on some work wheels, I don't know exactly what I do. I don't know the work name. I don't know wheel names. I only know the wheels that I like and that's it. I mean, I do definitely like these, but I forgot the name of these. Wow. Turbo KA. Really doing it for the KA boys. Mishimoto intercooler. This thing is sick. So cool. I love the styling of it. I love this kit. God. Mr. Cole Pearson, man, you have built an amazing machine. Look at this beautiful thing. Wow, this man has taste. Man, there's just so much cool things here. It's like, oh, dude, I love that like triangular pattern on the trim. Look at that. Man, that interior is so clean. Oh, it's just so clean, just simple. Man, I love that. Those rear seats are super sick too. Wow. And the paintwork on this. I don't know if you could get a glimpse of that, but you could see like the sparkle. Man, I just love staring at things like this. Yeah. Moving down, we probably have one of my favorite sections in the whole thing, or in this whole show. Literally a section dedicated to just super cool ass chassis. There's way too much to look at here, but this one is super crazy. Freaking rotary swapped S13 on ITBs. What the actual heck? Artem Rider, you're an insane man. I don't know if that's how you pronounce that. Just look at this. Oh, look at the texture on the seat. Oh, that is so sick. Another beautifully clean interior, actually no carpet, which, here, let me, quite honestly, I really dig the look, I'm not gonna lie, it's such a sick car, super sick, now this thing's just baller, that's the that's the only way I could describe this thing, just super baller, it's all just eye candy for this one, look at the paint, Man, Nick's, Nick's Craig. This thing's just baller, man. It looks sick. So sick. On the beautifully three, on the beautiful chrome three pieces on such a flashy color. Such a cool car. I wish we had these in the States. This thing is super neat because, I mean, other than it looking absolutely amazing, which black on black is different and I love how they pulled it off here. 
but this interior is one of the coolest things ever. There's so much tiny, neat features. Confetti Recaros, which match it perfectly. Love the shift knob. I believe I saw Larry Chen doing a feature on this thing, but... With all the little floral accents, it's, it's so sick. So sick. Not to mention the tiny Lucky Cuts. Again, we could go on and on about these S13s. There's just so much to look at. I, I can't really process it myself. The best I could do is just show. This thing caught my eye the second it drove in. Look at this thing. <laughs> the paint is what's beautiful about this. It's just so baller. <laughs> Troy's LS400 sitting there by itself. This thing is just crazy off the bat. There's a, just a lot that goes on here. A lot. Which I wouldn't be able to comment too much on. Maybe I'll have a talk with him and probably do a feature on this. Look at that. Beautiful car. He's drove it to Tennessee and back. It's, it's just a lot. <laughs> it's definitely a lot. Now one of the coolest things which I want to end off the video with, is this NB. I've seen it multiple times on Dennis's Instagram. This thing often drives to the Dragon for Miatas at the Gap, I believe the event is called. Look at that thing. Look at this. These vents are so cool. Sitting in Sparco Sprints. Beautiful Nardi leather steering wheel. Man, this thing is just so nice. The hardtop on these looks so sick. And not to mention the paint match trailer. Man, really this just tops it all off. Coming from Georgia, that wing is beautiful. So sick. I love builds like this. Look at that. I want to build something like this one day. Maybe with the SC or something. So, so cool, dude. I hope this was entertaining enough. I'm trying to grab much more content since I have been getting a little bit busier in life. Um, with opportunities and work and career. But I'm trying to stack up a ton of content just so I have... So I edit on my free time. Nonetheless, super cool show. I love how this all turned out. It looks so sick, just having all these cars lined up on the bank. Super cool. I don't know if it's on focus with me right now, but this is awesome. And back to this RX-7 quickly. It's on wood brakes. Well, Dylan over here has Sika brakes, which are very expensive because I wanted to get a set, but nope. <laughs> but super cool. Anyways, trying to film a ton of content just to have a ton of backlog of footage, but yeah. So the track is going to go hot soon, so we're going to go cover that. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this video. And we're going to keep that LZ Invitational content going. Please like, subscribe, enjoy, do everything you'd like. Um, and see you all next time.